U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo got a warm welcome in India following a quick visit to Pakistan during a low point of bilateral relations with Islamabad. The friction comes amid allegations that Pakistan is covertly supporting the Taliban insurgency in Afghanistan. Reviving the peace process in Afghanistan appears to be the major focus of the trip for both Pompeo and Defense Secretary Jim Mattis. The work that we all know that we need to do uh, to try and develop a peaceful resolution in Afghanistan, which benefits certainly Afghanistan, but also the United States and Pakistan. Uh, and uh, I'm hopeful that the foundation that we laid today will set the conditions for uh, continued success as we start to move forward. Despite several failed attempts to end the war in Afghanistan, some experts believe there is a real opportunity now to kickstart the peace process. Robin Raffel of the Center for Strategic and International Studies tells VOA the Afghan people have grown weary and impatient with the war and the Taliban. There's concern that Afghanistan could fracture, uh, that it could become the next Syria. So that really focuses the mind of all the stakeholders. So there's an opportunity, and I think with a new government, um, there's an opportunity for them to rethink uh, their strategy as well. Pompeo told reporters he has recruited the former U.S. ambassador to Afghanistan, Salmai Halilzad, to boost reconciliation efforts. Rafael welcomes the move. This appointment does demonstrate that the U.S. realizes that there needs to be a serious political track with a senior, experienced diplomat uh, representing the U.S. in that regard. Uh, I assume Ambassador Halil Zad will have a mandate to talk not only to all of the stakeholders in Afghanistan, but also to regional players to try and find common ground and a way forward. Both Pompeo and Mattis are expected to push India to provide greater economic and development assistance to Afghanistan to promote peace in the region. Cindy Sane, VOA News, the State Department.